Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is just going to be kind of a quick uh, trailer for at least the hardware portion of mom's laptop here. I just put that video together last night and it came out to just about 40 minutes long. And I know a lot of you guys, when you see a video that's 40 minutes long, you're not even going to click on it. And, and that's okay. I get it that not everybody's into this or that not everybody wants to spend 40 minutes doing something. But I just want to make a quick one to let you know what we did, kind of how it went, and I completely forgot to mention what all this cost in uh, either this video or the software video. So we're going to start right at the, I guess the nuts and bolts of it is what this, what you could expect to spend if you want to do exactly what you could potentially watch me do to this thing. Uh, I went back through the eBay listings, my Amazon purchases and all that stuff, and it looks like this guy was $105 shipped. The illuminated keyboard we put in it, which was a brand new, genuine uh, Dell part, was $32. We got $15 back from the seller of the laptop because the keyboard that was in it was defective. Because $15 is about what a non-illuminated replacement would have cost. So they worked with us on that. And the SSD I put in it was $85. Bucks. And it's been about three months since I bought all that stuff. And the SSD has dropped like $10 or $15 in price since then. So the grand total for everything you're going to see me do to this was $207. So for t about 200 bucks, you can have a pretty nice Windows 10 capable laptop that, you know, you're not going to game or anything on it, but you can for sure edit YouTube videos on it because I do that almost every day. Uh, you can watch YouTube, you can do your email, you can do spreadsheets, all that kind of stuff. Uh, basically a business level laptop that's pretty robust and easy to work on. If you're considering this, there are going to be some caveats to that, like the batteries these things come with are almost always junk. The one that's in this one's okay. You can buy an extended capacity battery for like $35 that are really good. And usually these things will come with like a knockoff power adapter, and I don't suggest you use those. So probably another 10 or 15 bucks for a power adapter. So about $250 is what you'll be into this for, which you can buy a better laptop for that amount of money. But you're not going to buy a better laptop for that amount of money that has a brand new uh, high quality Samsung uh, SATA 3 SSD in it. Half of the investment in this thing is just the SSD that if you decide to move from this laptop tomorrow, you can take that SSD and slap it right in something else. So with the budget conversation out of the way, the work I actually did to this thing was to install the backlit keyboard, install an SSD in it, uh, tear apart the heat sinks and clean all the old thermal paste off and repaste them. Um, give it a quick external cleaning, clean the screen, um, probably a couple other things in there that are small that I missed. So that 40 minute video that you're going to see come out like probably 15 minutes after this one posts covers all those topics. So if you are interested in any one particular thing in that, in that video I'll try and in the comments uh, timestamp when each thing occurs because I do take them methodically one after the next after the next and so on. The software installation video I have not yet edited but it's probably going to be about the same format where there's going to be a Windows 10 installation, a Dell drivers installation, a software installation for you know stuff my mom wants which is will be very brief and then I'd like to do a full system backup and create a recovery media uh, when I'm done with one of these. So I'll also chunk that video up into timestamps in the comments uh, for you guys there too. Just, just because I know that you see a 40 minute video, you're probably going to blast right by it if you don't even know what's going to be in it. So here's hopefully less than a five minute video telling you exactly what to expect. And another reason I've decided to do this quickly is because I've come to discover that uh, I've developed a style as I'm sure every YouTuber does. And my style is not a straightforward how to uh, approach to things. It is more of a uh, project vlog come along with me through this experience of what it takes to do this. Uh, for example, there's a, I think a minute and 20 second video out there of a guy that just rips a keyboard out, slaps a keyboard in, puts the screws back in it, and that's done. That's not the way it worked out for me, and that's probably not the way it's going to work out for you. Uh, so my videos tend to be long and comprehensive because I want you guys to come along with me. I don't want you to just bang, bang here's a part being slapped in because I, I just don't think that's very fun. And I, those aren't the kind of videos I want to make. So as always guys, appreciate you stopping in. We'll catch you on the next one.